Hey friends, it's Mr. Bycraft here. So, how you doing? Welcome to class. It's virtual. It's a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to start us off right and I'm going to help you learn how to document the work in our class. To do that, you are going to build a website and you're going to maintain this website all semester and it's going to show you all the work you've done all year long. If you've been in my classes before, a design class, you've probably done this, but maybe not. So let's start you up and I'm going to show you how to build a website using Google Sites. You're not required to use Google Sites. You're more than welcome to use Wix or anything else. I just feel Google Sites is a nice mix of easy to use. It's free and it integrates well with our programs because you've already got docs and slideshows and pictures. So use that if you want, but you're not limited to. It's up to whatever you want to do. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you and walk you through this. So here's my websites for school, right? So you should be somewhere around here go into your classes and right we've got these little blocks notice how i've got each of these blocks and if i click on one it's going to take me to a class cool it's going to take me to rover robotics it's going to have a document in here which is our syllabus and then it's also going to have some links to some more pages each of the challenges you'll do in class your website that you're going to make is probably going to look something like this uh, here's a student in the past who made a really nice one. So there's an intro. She's got a home page, which works great. And look, robot challenges. And you can click on them, and it's going to take you to each of the pages. And then you can also, it's got an intro page that we started. And this is an assignment you'll learn how to do in a little bit. And then what's really cool is look at there's a drop down menu too. So you may be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And it is. But it's okay, you can do it too. So you click on this and it opens up a whole new window. Go over here to your Google Apps and select those. And you see a whole bunch of stuff. So you want to go down here into Sites. It looks like that. Now, Google Sites has an old version and a new version. Don't use the old version, it's not that great. So come here to Google Sites, it says New Google Sites, click on it. Click. And if you've built a site in the past, it's going to be down here. Right, class, club, portfolio, you can click on different formats, a blank one, it's up to you. So here's all these websites I've got and students have shared with me. So we're going to do a blank one, and I'm going to build an example like you might for class. So it's going to give me a whole blank canvas. Now Google Sites shows you the page you're on and says, oh, you could do some templates. You know, you can do that if you want. I'm not going to, though. Uh, insert is a tab over here where you can add to anything you want to the page, where you could add a layout. So if I click on this, it says it's gonna be a picture and a text box. So I click on it, ta-da, picture text box. And then you've got some other ones down here, collapsible text, table of contents. Look at that, you can add buttons, dividers, placeholders, YouTube videos, docs, all these things. Pages show the pages we've built so far. There's our homepage, that's it. And then theme, so if you wanted to click on a theme, you could totally add a theme. So I'm going to go back to pages and I'm going to add a few sub pages. So see these three dots here? I click on those, it says duplicate page properties, add sub page. That's what we want. So we're going to add a sub page. We're going to call this biography. That's going to be a page about you. So that's a sub page that's under here. Let's do another one. We're going to say add sub page and let's call this one design thinking intro Ta-da! so now we've got one and two and three so if i click on this i'm going to go back to my home and it has these things so i'm going to go back to insert because i want to add a few things so i'm going to say like my title page so let's just call this mike bycraft because that's my name design class And this will be like, hello, welcome to my website, or something like that. And then I'm going to add a picture. And look, I can click on that plus, boom, I can upload a picture, I can select an image, I can go for my Google Drive. Uh, I'm going to upload. So I'm going to select a picture from my desktop, and I click on it, and boom, 
there it goes. Look at that. And now it's me and my child and my wife. So it's like a little picture. It's like a little welcome. Now check this out. Below it, I'm going to add a new section. See, I clicked on that, and that does here, here, here. So I'm going to say this is going to be a link to my bio page. So I'm going to click on this. We're going to select an image. So I go to select image. And let's look up something funny in Google Image Search. So this is my bio page. So I'm going to say Italian. It bio. Because I'm my grandma's from Italy. So ooh, ooh, I like this one. We're gonna click that. And I click on that image that says insert. <laughs> that looks pretty good. And then this is going to be my page for my intro design project. So I'm going to go back to Google image search and I'm going to say design thinking. Because that sounds cool to me. Ooh, got a lot of different things. Ideas. Ideate. Ooh. So you know, like, there's a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to pick this one because I really like it. I insert it. Boom. Oh man, that looks good. So now let's collect, let's create some links. So I'm going to go down here to button. I'm going to click button and I'm going to say biography. And look, when I click link, it's going to open up my sub page that I already did. So I click that, it's going to take it right to there and I insert, boom. And what's cool is I can just drag and drop it. So I'm going to drag and drop it right up here. Boom. And it does that. Biography. I don't like that section right there. Oh, let's throw it in the garbage. Don't like that one below it. Boom, throw it in the garbage. Let's do another button. And let's call this one Design Thinking Project. And, ooh, there it is. you know what? I'm gonna change it to Design Thinking Intro Project. And just like before, click on it and drag right boom see how good that works now i'm gonna make these pages better and i'm gonna do stuff like add color to it i'm gonna add a background image right i can do all kinds of cool stuff do a search let's do robots i like robots oh there we go there's some cool images I'm going to pick, I don't know. I see a lot of different stuff. There's a lot of cool things you could do. I'm going to pick the, oh, I know. So that, let's say Mars Rover. A little more specific. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Select. So now it becomes my wallpaper. Okay, so this isn't done, right? But it's a great start. And one of the things you'll do today is you'll populate your biography page. But finally, I just want to show you how to publish it. So if you go up here to publish, click on publish, click, and it's going to say, it's going to give you an address, sites, google.com, ksorkr, and then you put your web address. So I'm going to say like Mike B. Design. It says anybody at Korean International School. So I'm going to change that. And instead of anybody at Korean International School, I'm going to say public. Okay, so if we click on that for public, that means anybody can see it. And that's what we want because I'm going to put this web page in like your comments and your grades. So when your mom says, how's little Mikey doing in class? I can say, well, hey, check out their website. Look how awesome it is. Look at the videos they did and the pictures and the drawings. This kid is super smart. So I press done. So it might be design. Anyone can view my site. Request public search engine design to display my site. That's up to you. And I would press publish. Boom. Publishes. And now it's live, baby. If I click view, it's going to show me what it really looks like. Hey, look at that. It works. There's a little drop down menu. Let's see if my buttons work. Does that work? Oh my gosh. 
What a genius. I'm not a genius. That's just easy. And you can make your website look awesome. I've had some really cool websites and some kids have done some amazing work. Uh, let me show you. Uh, this was Miru, who's a student who just graduated. And she was in my independent study class and she's got her videos and it's all linked and it looks really cool. And all the work she's done. It's super impressive. All right, she did the cityscape project. She describes it, she reflects on it. She's got her journal. And look at that, you can link a Google Doc. I haven't even shown you how to do that yet, but I will. And then finally some other references. So, how great is that? What a kid. So, that's how this works. Let me know if you have questions, and I'm excited to see the web pages you work and build all semester long. All right. Thanks, you guys. I'll see you in person. Bye.